For our fifth tip and trick, we're going to head back to Safari to browse around the internet for just a second because I'm going to show you the differences in some of the different bookmarkings that you can do with a web page. And the handiest one of all, which is making it your very own icon on your apps or on your iPad's desktop. Here's what I mean. Once you're in here navigating around Safari, you'll notice there's this little tiny button up here at the top. It's a square or rectangle with a bump out arrow. I always call this the, I can do more with this icon because you're going to see this icon smattered all over your iPad, whether you're in Evernote or if you are in the camera roll or if you're in Safari, even if you're in something like a Photoshop Elements, you're probably going to find some icon that looks remarkably like this one. And it almost always means exactly that. I can do more with what I'm looking at, whether it's an image or text. And typically when you press this button, you get a set of options of more things you can do with that object. In this case, I can add this to my bookmarks. This is talking about the web page in this case. You can add it to your reading list. You can add it to your home screen and you can mail this link as a page to someone if you wanted to. Then that opens up your mail app. And you can even tweet or print this. Now remember, you cannot print this unless you have a web-enabled printer or a Wi-Fi-enabled printer. But the one thing I'm going to show you right now is the adding it to a bookmark. So if you hit Add to Bookmark, you'll notice that you're given a few options here. First of all, it automatically names it according to what it thinks you want to name it. It then lists the address that you're about to bookmark. But you can choose right here whether you want to put it in your bookmarks or your bookmark bar, which is something that rides right underneath the address bar here. If you put it in your bookmark bar, easily accessible. Bookmarks are more like those file folders that you can place them in. And you can put it in your bookmarks, just like that, and then hit save for you to access later. Or the handiest one of all, let's say you, you have a website for your school or a website that you visit very frequently. You can actually shortcut this so that you don't even have to go through Safari in order to open up that bookmark. And here's how you do it. Click this button. Once you have that, you've clicked that button, the I can do more with this icon. You have this add to home screen option. Click that and it gives you a little image of the icon. If it doesn't recognize it, it does just a generic image. And then again, it, it names it what you think you want to name it. You can rename it if you want to. And when you're finished, you just hit add and watch what it does. It'll throw it as an icon at the end of your iPad pages of apps. And so now it becomes an app icon that you can simply press and it will open that page in Safari for you automatically. It's a fantastic little shortcut and that ends number five, tips and tricks.